I remember there was some dicey moments. There was, if you, you remember, there was a scene where the coachman is arriving there in Transylvania, and uh, Jonathan Harker is standing some distance away. And in the book, it describes the coachman, who was really Dracula, dressed as a coachman, extending his arm. And then the arm just keeps going and going and going, and he picks up Jonathan Harker, and he puts him back into the coach. And, you know, no one knew how to do that. I didn't know how to do it. And, and, and the typical uh, movie guys, you know, say, well, we'll do some sort of optical later. And I really challenged the live action. Uh, remember that? Who was the live action? Michael Lanteri. He was Michael Lanteri. He was so talented. And what they did, think of how brilliant that finally, you know, where everything was a little stopped and how are we going to do this and, and should we just forget about it and do it later with CG, which is the problem with CG. And what this Michael Lanteri did is he put the coachman uh, at the foot of a Chapman crane. So as it stopped, he really wasn't sitting on the cab of the thing. And Jonathan Harker was standing over there. The camera didn't see the crane, but as he reached his hand, the camera went with the hand. And of course, it, the guy was on the crane. So the whole crane was moving and he grabbed him by the shoulder. And then there was a rig to throw him in. And it was basically shot live action. There was no, it was just an illusion. And there were, many, there were a number of things like that that were especially gratifying to think that, you know, we figured out a way to do it without an effect after the fact.